Hi guys, Squall here, and welcome to another Transport Fever 2 video. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, Transport Fever 2 is actually out. Don't forget, if you actually want to buy the game, I have a link in my video description with a code that can get you uh, 17 or 18% off, something like that. But if you already have TF1, then you can get it cheaper on Steam. Uh, also, if you want to watch more gameplay from Transport Fever 2, I have streamed it quite a lot. If you go to my second channel, Squirrel Plus, you'll see me playing through a sandbox gameplay. Uh, really interesting stuff. I go right the way from 1850, and I think we're currently in 1920s, 1930s. So lots more sandbox content if you want to go to my second YouTube channel. Anyway, let's click on the campaign because I think we're going to Baghdad. Mankind is con It's the dawning of the 20th century. The major powers of Europe are in the process of divvying up the last fragments of the world map among themselves. At long last, the German Empire wants a place where it can bask in the limelight too. It sees its chance along the Bosporus, where temperamental Sultan Abdul Hamid II rules over a vast territory. Time for the Germans to secure the biggest infrastructure project in all of Asia Minor. Oh, so that means we're going to get some German machinery, 1904 to 1914. And yeah, we're going to Baghdad. Cool. The Legendary Orient. The Kingdom of a Thousand and One Nights. That's fancy. Where milk and honey flow. The Baghdad Railway is the key to the Orient. It will give the German Empire access to valuable resources. Oil. The railroad project is going to be financed by Deutsche Bank, a German bank. You're supposed to make sure that nothing fishy goes on on site. <laughs> Railroad from Baghdad to Istanbul, brought into being via sound German engineering skill. A bold venture. As long as the project doesn't make a profit, the Sultan has offered to offset any losses with his tax revenues. Needless to say, one is only too glad to help local agriculture increase its earnings. Make sure that grain production develops beneficially. At the same time, it guarantees funding for the Baghdad Railway. Thanks to your logistics support, food production is soon going to gain momentum. Cool. Thanks to the support, blah, blah, blah. Deliver food to the surrounding cities so that food factory expands. All right. So we've got a city here which has food, and that's a crude oil production. Uh, sorry, demand for crude oil. So they must have some industry here. There you go. So they've got some industry that demands crude oil and they've got some commerce that's demanding food. So we need to get food into here. Talk more about that in a second. Then if you notice, we've also got this, uh, which demands just food. Then it appears to be some kind of, is that a road going through there? Yeah, it's the road going through there. Um, getting a train through there would be very, very difficult. Uh, this wants food as well. This also wants food. And then what's that? The Western Desert Tribe converts silver ore and produces food. Interesting. So you can pay them to generate more food by the look of it. And you pay them in silver. I don't know where the silver comes from yet. Uh, these guys here, Aleppo, are only interested in food. So anyway, what does it say? Um, Deliver food to the surrounding cities so that food factory expands. When it says surrounding cities, I'm going to assume it means these two for now and, you know, not go over here. But I could be wrong. Maybe it means all four. Increase the food factory to level two. Right, to get the food factory to level two, this is currently level one. So what we need to do is we need to get its production into this area here. And we need to make sure that we're shipping and transporting all of that stuff. Once it, once it sustains here, it will go from level one to level two. Now, the cool thing to note about this is that two grain goes into one food. So these things need a lot of food. And this is a farm, and a farm can never level up. The kind of raw resources, they can never level up. They'll only ever produce 200 per tick, whatever the tick rate is. So what we need to do is get grain from here to here, and grain from here to here, and then we need to distribute it amongst these towns. 
Now, I'm wondering about whether to use trains or or transport trucks. Interesting that there's a ship here as well. Silver into tools, I think that is. Is that tools? Machines. I'm your just trying to work out. Your legendary fellow countryman, Kara Ben Nemzi, crosses your path. Okay. What a splendid coincidence. Accompany the fearless adventurer and stand by him with advice and support. Oh, no. Sir David Lindsay, your countryman's English traveling companion, has caught the dreaded Aleppo evil. What? A horrible sore is running riot on his already sizable nose. A desert herb is said to cure it, but the plant can only be found at very specific altitudes. Hmm. Collect three snakeweed bushes at an altitude of between 220 and 230 meters. Um... Okay, that's a very random task. We put on the console line and see where the highest areas are. I mean, I don't know what the herb looks like. Okay, we'll ignore that for now. Um, it wants me to find and click on three random bushes. Let's focus on the job in hand. So the main task is to get food production going. So I'm just going to have a quick think about how we want to do this. Okay, right, a few things. I've had a little think and look around. And one thing is this red line here, which is the building restriction area. So we can't build outside of that anyway. So to answer the question, which cities are we doing? We're just doing these two. Second thing is, uh, you can see I've managed to collect one of the snake weed bushes. And the way I've done it is this. If you look at the description, it's very specific. And it says, collect them between an altitude of 220 and 230 meters. And it's when I looked at the details of the contour layer that I realized that they're very specific about the, uh, the contour lines. So what I noticed was uh, this thick line here represents a major contour, which is 100 meters, right? And then it goes in little 10 meters until it gets the intermediate, which is the 50 meter line. So that's 100, 150, 200 is the next major. Uh, so 200 meters takes us to here. It wants between 220 and 230. So we go one, two, that's 220. So as long as we find this bush between that line and that line, it will count. So the next thing is, well, how do you harvest the bush? Turns out you just destroy it. Bad luck in spades. The Henry rifle and the double barreled bear killer have disappeared. Track down Caraben Nemzi's precious weapons and bring them back. Okay. Holy moly. Your faithful companion, Haji Halef Omar, was taken captive by a savage <gasps> desert tribe. Rescue him. Um, okay. Deliver the food to the desert tribe and ransom Haji Halif and rats to ransom him. So, wait, what? Deliver food here. Okay, that's interesting. So it's now... It's not unlocked this barrier, this building thing. So how on earth can we deliver food here if we can't build though? So if I try to build a road... Right, okay. It actually lets me build. So what's that red line for? I don't know. Anyway, let's have a think about this. So what I was going to do is I was going to put trains between this lot. And what I thought we'd have is a nice platform, a nice train station here with an outer track that goes to the cargo train station that's already there. Uh, if we put this on for a second, not that one, that one. Uh, we can see there's already a train tra station here, but the food is required here. So I'm probably just going to build a station there and ignore that one. It's going to cost a bit more money, but it's either that or we're going to have to set up a truck route to move it all, which we could do. In fact, let's just do that. Let's just leave this station in place. So the cargo platform's on the outside. So what that will do is we'll run that track to here and we'll shuttle uh, the food between there. And then we'll just have trains picking all this up. So I'll put all this down and then we'll unpause it just to speed the video up. Right, let me just show you what I've done here. Uh, so I've built a station here. I could have gone for three three tracks, but I just thought I might as well put the fourth in. So we're not using one of them. Uh, the outer one is going over to that cargo platform there. Uh, the inner one is going to that grain here. And this other one's going to this grain here. If you look at the lines, I've created three lines. Uh, one's the grain two train, which is this one. Grain one train to there. And the food train to here. And you can see I've 
I've already done a double track on it with a single platform and some one-way signals just to make sure it all flows. So the next thing to do is to get food delivered. So to do that, we need to start off by creating these grain trains here. So we'll do on this line, the yellow one uh, out of that. Wait a second, let me click on that again. That depot, buy vehicle. Let's see what we've got. Diesel electric. So only steam is an option. We want something with good tractive efforts. Uh, that's the highest tractive effort, 115, but that's a very expensive train. Uh, 1.6 million. So that's more of a passenger train given its speed, but it does have pretty good traffic tractive effort for the money. This is a double the price, but it's also double the performance. Um, we might use this for the food and use this for the grain. So we want to go to cargo wagon and we want to be carrying gondola, which is the only thing that can carry grain. So let's click add. We need to watch this speed down here. One, two, three. So it's gone to good on three. Let's see where it goes mediocre. Okay, so it only goes mediocre with 72 capacity. So if we bring it back to 64, we still have good performance. It takes it less than a minute to get up to full speed. Uh, I think that's good. So 64 capacity will buy one of those and we shall assign it to the which was this the egregory train depot is that the first one i think it's that line yeah so hopefully that's going to come out of here right and then for this one we're going to do the same thing we're going to go buy a vehicle we're going to go with plm 220 again cargo gondola and the 72 capacity bringing it back to good with 64 we'll buy that and we'll assign that to the red grain line. Okay, so that's going to set up the grain. That's going to get the grain moving. We'll see how that goes. Um, I kind of suspect that one train will be enough, at least initially. It depends how much this is going to produce. When it produces 200, this can take 64. So we may end up with two trains on this line, but not initially. We'll just have it as one. What we do need to do is get this bit set up, which is going to require the food train, or rather probably two food trains, although... That goes two to one on grain, so we'll see. We'll start off with one train for now. We'll go for the the big one, the fast one, uh, on the assumption that the extra speed, it can get up to that full speed before it gets there. Um, actually, you know, I'm still on an hour. In. Yeah, the, the, the attractive effort, let's go with that. I don't know if it's going to make money, that's the problem. So the difference is, actually, it's the wrong kind of... Um, cargo we want the box car for food see one two three four five when does it go to mediocre wonder blimey um okay so even on 88 capacity and it's still on good performance how long does that take to get to speed 69 seconds that's not bad i think one car for now one train for now let's see how we get on run it like that now the food as i noted earlier needs to go to a different place it needs to go to the middle of this lot so what we actually need to do is build one of these which is a truck unload stop and we need to decide exactly how to hit the best part i think anywhere here should be fine so we'll put it there we need a pickup point from over here so we're going to need a truck station which we'll just put slightly out of the way over there Still makes the station go white, so that's fine. And then we'll create a new line, which is called the road line. And it's called Konya Food Trucks. That, and we'll go from here to the stop there. Then we just drop in a road depot, so we can actually construct stuff. We'll put that out of the way. We'll put that out out of town, so we don't get any sort of emissions problems not that the noise and emissions come into it yet i'm kind of thinking they may come in on later um on later playthroughs right we're definitely going to go with the dmg diesel look at that I can carry all that so we'll, we'll start it off with like five trucks it's more than enough okay that should complete the loop so we'll speed this up now and see how it performs let it establish itself um, we also need to deliver food to these guys. Now, to get food all the way over here, the quickest way of doing it is going to be to drop a depot in there for now. 
truck station. Otherwise, it will be very expensive. Now, what we need to do, I think, is we need to build some road so that it connects like that. So those connection lines. And then we can build a truck station right next to them. Whoops. Wrong key pressed. Uh, like that. So that then highlights this. Now, they only want 10 units, so we can probably solve that by saying dropping in a truck station down here. Uh, let's say we drop it into there for now. Anywhere that would be fine. Create a new line and we'll just call it Temp Food to Tribes. Because I very much doubt we're going to keep this line around. So we go from there all the way down to here, which is a heck of a drive. And we can reuse that depot because they can just drive around. However, I think what we'll do, that one, is we'll tell them when they get to Upper Konya, we'll wait until they get a full load. Uh, I really don't want to have them drive all that way without any proper cargo. So if we go to speed in like 25 Ks, we'll just buy a couple of trucks for now. Um, because this is going to take some time to get up to production. So the grain start to flow nicely. Uh, so they've got some food there. There's not putting any food on the... On this thing yet. Actually, I don't think it's realised it's got a root yet. Consumers, Konya, Western Desert Tribe, Shipping 10. All right, so it is actually allocating food here. It's going to ship food there. Those trucks, where are they? Capacity of five. So those two trucks alone could deliver that. As long as they wait for full load, which they should do. Um, there's already one there, so... We'll see. They'll wait for three minutes, which may not be long enough. Really need just to output some stuff to it. Well, let's just pay some attention to what's going on here. Uh, the finances of this are that that is paying for itself. And let's see how much is this is being transported. So we're going to to move most of it so far, which is good. It means we can probably just get away with one train on this. As for this one, this is very, very poor right now. Why is this so bad? This one's doing very well. This one's doing really badly. I suspect the finance is about as well, yeah. Look at that. It's only put six grain, though. I feel like I'm missing something. Why is that one doing so well? And it's literally doing the same thing as this one. And this one's doing really badly. 7%. the demand like mm, it might be i think it's actually what it what's going on here is production is capped out so it only has so much demand and most of it is being met by this because it's a shorter run so that one's not scaling up yet because this one doesn't have enough demand once this goes to level two which you can see now they're all in the in the upgrade bar so it's planning to upgrade the moment this upgrades, the demand for grain will double, at which point I think this will suddenly double and become very profitable. Uh, let's see what the train, the food is doing. So it's not breaking even just yet. But that's fine. We're all going in the right direction. Uh, there's plenty of food for the tribes there, but I think they've probably left. Now, did they leave full? That one did, and that one did. Okay. We'll let them do their thing, and we'll just let it run and see what happens. This should get delivered shortly, and this, I've no doubt, this will double very, very soon. Thanks to your help with the grain harvest, the Sultan is collecting a tidy sum in taxes. And those taxes, in turn, guarantee that you'll be paid. Now the most challenging part of the route lies before you. The Taurus Mountains block the way to Aleppo, like the jagged back of some primeval monster. But you've overcome every obstacle so far. 
Okay, I feel like it wants us to do this via train, but I, f I feel like we're copping out slightly. Um, but they will be delivered shortly. Anyway, while it's busy doing that, this thing has managed to double now. So its production's gone up. Its shipments is going to go up shortly. Its demand should have definitely gone up. So if we go and look at what's going on here, you see how now it's able to ship more stuff? Its capacity for production is 200. It's now shipping everything that it can. And we're only transporting 21%. But that train line should now be turning a profit very shortly. Yeah, I, if you look at this, this single train is moving everything that it can produce. So we, we do not need two trains on this line, which is good. Can the same be said of this one? We'll have to see. It's a slightly further distance, but I've got a feeling it will move everything that it can it can uh, produce. Hopefully now the food line is going to be more profitable as well. And if we look at the line details, let's see what's going on. So the food tra trains are still losing money. A lot of money, in fact. Uh, one of the grain trains is turning a good profit. The other one's still slightly negative. Uh, the food trucks are turning over a decent profit now, 3,000. That's not a, not a huge amount, but it's, it's good. And they're able to move everything. So it really is dependent on this guy. It seems like, and I don't know if this is completely true, but it feels like when, you, when your trains are transporting about half of their capability, that's when your break-even point is hit, roughly speaking. Given he's transporting less than half, he's basically losing money. Unless a lot of this food is going here, which is a bit annoying. They seem to be allocating a lot of food to that road journey, which is about to complete. And then I've got a feeling I'll either... I'll probably just end up turning it off, to be honest, so that none of the food is going on this line. Go on. What an adventure. Kara Ben Nemzi Effendi is deeply indebted to you for your services. Well, that's good, because he's about to have his uh, services rendered dead. <laughs> so the temporary food to tribes, um, if we go to the line manager for that and find those vehicles. Temporary food to tribes. Here we go, these two. Manage those vehicles, select both of them. We shall sell them. We shall get rid of that line for now. That will remove the demand because I think so, a lot of the food coming out of here was being consumed by that. It was allocating them here. I don't want that. Most of it needs to go to Konya now. Connected cities. Thanks for your help with the grain harvest. Um, now the most challenging part of the route lies ahead. The Taurus Mountains block the way to Aleppo like the Jagged Line. You've overcome the obstacle so far. It's saying connected... Many hands will be needed to conquer this compact but rugged mountain range. The best thing would be to hire enough people on both sides of the mountains. Build railway lines to bring workers from Konya to a Regli, which is... Where's a Regli here? And from Aleppo to Adana. Aleppo to Adana. Okay, so we want a passenger route between these two, and we want a passenger route between these two. That's perfectly doable. The only thing I would say is that we'll need to modify this and put a transport put a, tr uh, a track on the outside and a platform for passengers. And then we can run on the outside of here. Uh, we could go all around. We just go around this. We'll go around this and come into here. Let's have a look at where the passengers are actually based by looking at the land use layer. Right, so passengers are at the back. So we're going to need a bus service to get them through, which is okay. So we'll set up a train and we'll have a passenger terminus with one platform. That'll do. And we'll leave space next to it for a road depot which will have a bus tram station like that and that will allow us to pick passengers up and transport them over uh, meanwhile down here what we'll do let's get rid of that for now 
is we'll configure this. I do love this configuration. I've played with this quite a lot on the stream, and once you get used to how it works, it's uh, it's really cool. So we need that, but we also need a way of passengers getting in because at the moment this is a cargo station, so that's a cargo um, cargo building. What we need as well is a passenger building, so we could drop. So let's drop one in here. So that's interesting. We're going to have to put it here and destroy these houses. Oh well, that's the way it's got to be, bro. We'll also need to have a drop-off point here, so we'll put some um, bus stations here. But we'll set that up in a minute. Let's get the track done. Track is um, fairly cheap, which is good. Doesn't cost a lot to build track in this game just as well because you have to build a lot of it what tends to cost the most is where you um have to go through some, like contour lines and build tunnels and that kind of thing i always like to set them up if i've got the money which we do i always like to set them up like this so that we've straight away we can run as many trains as we want in here if you just go for a single line you basically set up a problem for later which is not how I like things to be. But if I don't have the money, then you can just go for a single track with some passing loops, and that works just as well. But passengers are very sensitive to um, speed. Like, you don't want to be slowing them down, if possible. Let's build a depot on here. Depots are quite cheap as well, so... For now, I'm just setting them up like this. We'll merge in. Uh, signal in. Like that. So we can get the first line going. Which is... Konya... Oops, can't type. Konya dash a regly... packs trains that's going to go over it's important you click on the platform icon here and that's only going to platform because that can do both don't click on the cargo platform okay so by vehicle we shall go for the fastest one which is this one we'll go for the passenger cars and see how many of these we can do now important consideration is the top speed of the vehicle <clears throat> the track is limited to 120 k's this train can only do 100 k so what we want to do is not use those because they, they will slow the whole train down to 60. So with some of these will do. This looks like a rather nice passenger. Now we want to keep it on good. We don't want to drop below good. Uh, so we want to remove that. So 60 passengers, more than enough. We'll have two of them running on the line. Vehicle unavailable at this time. Okay, I'm not really sure why. Uh, let's try that again. A35 passenger car for the Sultan. For the Sultan. Passenger car custom made for the Sultan. Ah, is it not letting us buy it yet? Right, okay. So it looks like we're stuck with this one then. So let's just build until we go to mediocre and then remove one and keep it good. Okay, looks like we're not allowed to build that yet. I don't know why, but it's obviously a mission thing. So we've got two passengers running there. Let's turn our attention over to... Actually, no, we're not finished here. We've got to move the passengers into the platforms. If we don't do that, then um, we will substantially see much lower numbers on passengers if we don't do this bit. So we're going to go for bus stops and we can probably put one bar to get this half and then another one here to get these guys and we might as well on the way back pick up some of these commercial so we can come back that way it can even come out and go this way couldn't it so that way we get some of the industry as well we're gonna need a road depot over here so we're gonna put that out of town we'll maybe put that here actually no because that's near residential Keep your stuff away from the resident areas. They don't like the noise. I know it doesn't matter in this particular mission, but it's just good practice. It's something to be aware of. Um, let's see. We're on 
a regular, I think it is. Packs, I'll just call it buses. It can be trams as well, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to go from here to here to here to here to here. Cool. Now we could do this with trams, maybe, if it'll allow us. Horse or steam, four or five. There we go with that. They don't go very quick at this stage. You need quite a few of them. When their capacity is so low, um, you need lots of them because they go really slowly and they only take four people. Later on, when the when the decades tick over and they go much faster and can take a lot more people, you can often reduce the numbers down. That's going to get passengers to there. The next question is, are we doing the same thing over here? And I suspect the answer is no, we're not. Um, use, yeah, there's the passengers, right? So we've got a station there, so we need to have a bus stop for that one. Then we'll pick up some of this cargo on the way through. We'll come down this road, maybe pick up some passengers there. Um, definitely here. And then we'll probably run through and grab some of this lot, grab some of this lovely high density commerce, a bit more of that, back to, back to the beginning. So this is Konya, so new line road, Konya buses. That one, that one, that one. There we go. That's the blue one's a truck line, so we just ignore that. And then the depot is out here, so buy vehicles. We'll put 10 on the circuits. Okay, so that's you get the passengers to the station, then they can get on the train to here, same thing over here. That's gonna take a little bit of time to establish. We're gonna lose money as that builds up. So while that operates, I'll turn my attention to this. I'll build it and then I'll show you what I've done. Okay, what I have done is I went to Aleppo and I noticed that they already had a train station available. So I've simply reconfigured it. Um, it had a cargo line coming in. So I've added the track and passenger on the other side and I've added the, part, the cargo, sorry, the passenger station. Did I add the right one? Forms, passenger buildings. Yeah, I'm certain that's a passenger one. Cargo station. Oh, it's just called cargo station. Uh, there's a passenger terminal building there, and I've put a, a bus station right next to it so people can walk. Now, the interesting thing is this is quite hilly. It's kind of hard to spot initially, but it's quite hilly. So it meant that the line coming out of here is elevated, and so it was a little bit more expensive than normal. I then set up a bus route, as you can see here which takes people around the, the uh, civ civilians around here, the residency areas around here. So it just takes them in a nice little loop. Uh, we just need to build some buses. And then I've drawn, I've done a line that comes down to here. Um, I've put the station here. There is actually a station here, which I was trying to use, but it can't click on it. So I think that's something to do with story as some kind of special plot thing going on here. But either way, because notice there's the... Uh, like the the big cheese is building um either way make sure down a road depot is connected to the network uh oh so there's a mistake somewhere here oh yeah somehow i managed to build a depot and the road got broken there we go um so yeah we can't use that station so i built one out of town there and just put a truck tram bus stop thing there put a bus route through so it basically just needs to get it going so what we'll do is we'll build a little passenger run here we'll have to start off money's not exactly brilliant at the moment we could run one of these which is the super fast passenger trains before i do that let me see if the other super fast passenger train is making money no it's not it's losing two million so i am kind of tempted therefore to reduce the price a bit or we can just run one train for now maybe so if we run one of them go for the passenger cars the biggest ones that we can get which was that well I just the one for now we can always add more later and then we'll put that in place get that going we'll speed the game up a bit now so that train's going to set off we are losing money 
um, which is something that hopefully it will fix shortly when things get moving along. We'll click on here. We'll buy some more passenger cars. We'll have a bunch of these moving on people around. So like eight of those. We'll assign those to Aleppo buses. They can get going on that. And then the same thing down at Adana. We'll buy a bunch of those. It's a really horrible noise, isn't it? Down the buses. There we go. Uh, so it's recognized that we've connected Konya with Aleppo. We're bringing workers here, bring workers from Aleppo to Adana. So as soon as that train gets to here, and hopefully the passengers are starting to wait now. There we go. Oh, while we're doing this, incidentally, let me show you something. If you click on this, click on the camera, you go first person, then move the WASD keys around. Now, W and S actually goes up and down. Uh, where's that trying to go? Oh, it turned around. Uh, Z and X go in and out, but you can actually get yourself... WASD, Z and X, you actually get yourself a reasonable view doing this. So you can actually go in and almost feel like you're at the start of the driver. It's kind of cool. Like that. Work in the mountains is only progressing slowly. Access to the Mediterranean would prove to be extremely useful. A branch line already runs from the port town of Mersin to Adana. It would be advisable to buy it up. Instead of begging for credit from your superiors, you might as well purchase the line all by yourself. That will certainly make an impression back home. You ought to pitch camp on the other side of the Taurus at the branch line's last stop. Build a headquarters in Adana. You want to pitch a camp on the other side of Taurus at the branch's last stop. So I think it's on about this line. It's saying build your headquarters here. Just to really annoy people, I think. So we'll click on that. We'll go to headquarters. Build. And let's get on for a second. And where should we build it? It just looks like a farmyard. <laughs> I don't think this is a great city, but we'll, we'll build it here at the edge of a cul-de-sac. We'll live amongst the common folk. Silver has been found in the mountains. This enables you to finance the branch line to the sea using existing funds. Your superiors in Germany will be seriously impressed. Silver's found in the mountains. Spurs and German press. Deliver 20 silver ore to the headquarters. Wait, what? You never told me this. Hang on. Right. Wait a sec. If we, what we can do is we can go relocate and we can put it here opposite the train station so that that covers delivery to that now, which means we can now reconfigure this and add a second track in there with a cargo platform. Twenty right, where's the silver ore then? The there's a silver ore. So mm, we could just bring it down by a truck to be perfectly honest. It only wants twenty of it, but it depends whether we need to because I noticed that down here this converts silver ores to machines. So I've got a feeling we're gonna end up having to deliver silver ore to this thing. And whether we can use this or not, I don't know. That's not in the capture point of this thing. If we bring the silver ore to here, can we then move it to here? That's the question. Maybe it wanted that to be in range of this. Maybe what we should do is, if we build it back here again. See, that's not within capture of that. We, we can't tell because we don't own it. All right, let's just get some stuff down here. Let's get some silver ore brought in. Hopefully we can make this profitable. Train building. Uh, let's go with a cargo terminus. One platform will do. Which 
Alright, we're going in. So, build some track. Uh, we'll do a turn. Now, the tighter the turn, the slower the track. So, if we expand it a little bit, we can get up maybe it's like 70k, something like that. Just to help keep the speed up a little bit. There we go. So, seven, that'll be the slowest part of the track, 70k. And I think with this, we'll just have uh, we'll just have some little passing loops rather than actually no. Let's just do the whole thing. I was looking at the cash situation and thinking we're getting a bit low, but we'll just do it properly, just in case we have to start moving up a load of this stuff. So one way signals. Depot in. Like that. And then we set up the line, and this is going to be a Dana Silver Ore. Keep it fairly cheap. We'll add one of these PLMs in, I think. Now that could transport silver ore. That's still a good service. We'll just have one train. And we'll do that. And that should be enough. We're down to 14 million. We're starting to deposit silver ore already. That's that's really cool. Right, whilst that is on the go, let's have a quick look at our lines and see if we're actually making a profit anymore. If we sort by balance, we can see where we're losing the most money. Uh, and it looks like we're losing the most money here, so I think I'll probably just sell one of these trains off. Um, because it's just not moving enough people yet. Right, the finances have... Actually, it's, it's almost started to break even, that one, train five. Let's have a look at train four. Train four is doing very poorly. Can't afford to lose this much money, you know. Is it going to improve? This is killing our margins. Yeah, I think we're just going to sell that. We'll cut our losses. I should have just built one train. Um, so that should come down to at least half a million loss. Meanwhile, the silver ore train we just set up is, of course, making a loss. The buses tend to rate... Uh, if you can break even on the buses, but you're making the money on the trains, that's cool for me. And everybody else seems to be making decent money. Let's have a look what's doing down at the food factory. Food supply, they de they've got more demand, so we can definitely move more. Uh, there's a lot of food sitting around here, so what we need to do is pick up on one of these. That's the trams. That one, that one. Manage vehicle, and we'll select. And we've got we've got five vehicles on the line, so I'm going to select all five and click clone, and that's going to double it. So we've then got ten. We need to get that stuff moved. We're losing money though. So another five vehicles have come out. They're going to start shifting that. This thing One is... The silver mine is yielding enough to buy the branch line. Is it? The silver mine's yielding enough. Acquire the railway line. So that's this one. Acquire it now. How much is it going to cost? The Sultan civil servants are in usage. No matter how small the request, each time they expect a favour in return. <laughs> for instance, for assuring that none of your merchandise disappears. Oh, nice. The other nuisance are the Brits. They constantly snoop around near the oil drilling sites. You ought to sick a couple of savage desert tribes on them. That'll keep them busy. Whether Bedouin tribes or civil servants, they all have one thing in common. Put enough silver in their hands and they're very cooperative. All your wishes will come true. 
<laughs> right. So pretty much as we expected, we're going to have to deliver silver ore down to the port and silver ore to the desert tribe. Interesting. So we've still got our cargo thing though. The silver ore is being made Traces here. of an ancient civilization can be found in the desert. Hang on. Word has it that fabulous treasures of untold value lie waiting there. Set off to recover them before others beat you to it. A British archaeologist has already set out to search for the ancient stone fragments from Carchemish. Beat her to it and find the city of ruins in the desert. The remnants of an ancient settlement. Maybe even the cradle of civilization. Who knows what kinds of valuable artifacts lie slumbering beneath this pile of rubble and ruins. Dig for ancient artifacts. Despite all the digging, no artifacts can be found. Maybe the British lady was faster in the end. On the other hand, the excavation crew struck an oil well that's gushing away for all it's worth nearby. That's not bad either. <laughs> okay. Let's just build this. Uh, right, so we're going to deliver some silver ore to these guys, so we'll set up a new line here. And we'll call it Tribe. Silver ore. We'll take it from there to there. Cargo, let's see. Okay, that'll get them some more. Uh, now, silver ore is coming down to here on a train, and then. There is a train line here, which I assume we can now use, which we can. We can finally configure that. And there's even a line has been set up to it. That's interesting. So the question is, how can we join these two together? What's that on the platform? And the answer is, it kind of looks like they're already joined. I'm not sure. I click on that it also highlights this thing so I'm kind of thinking that silver can be taken from here I think that's what that is silver ore which is very interesting because I didn't realize it actually went that far wait a sec wait a sec what are you doing wow it even comes with a train wait a second does that mean that it's going to collect the silver ore I think it does, you know. In which case, we just got a free train. And because I happen to build that platform close, it's going to collect it. I'm not sure why it's got three tankers on the back, but maybe we'll find out shortly. Yeah, look at that. Bonus. Didn't need to do a thing. it's already been ticked hasn't it so we're just waiting for these guys now started to put some silver ore there what we'll do is we'll adjust the um so when it gets to our downer branch we'll make sure they wait for full because they're probably running pretty low right now oh, it's got five okay just let it run and that should ping 20 fairly soon right that they're delivering machine parts here and you can see that's about to hit 50. I also built this high speed bypass road so the vehicles can do this rather than go slow through town. It keeps the emissions down in town but allows them to get a better speed as well. The necessary machines have arrived. The Baghdad railway can finally be completed. Complete the line between Aregli and Adana. Oh wow, it's removed the uh it was locking out from building anything here. And now it's removed it. Bit line between a Regli and a Dana. Yikes. Um, the lines are making a nice profit. 
almost all of them are making a nice profit. But I am slightly concerned. The, the oil is not being moved anywhere because we're taking stuff in, but without anywhere to take the oil, these trains are kind of not really getting paid on the way back because the oil can't go anywhere, which is a bit annoying. And now it wants me to complete a train line between here and here. And I'm kind of wondering why. But also, how? How do we get it through? What's the cheapest way to get it through? You can tunnel through there and tunnel through there. But I mean, these are some pretty nasty contour lines. I don't think we've got the money for this. These tunnels are going to cost millions. Um, obviously, we can reuse this line. We can add a second track on that. Add a, add a passenger track onto it. So I think we'll start with that. So we'll bring in a second track here. With a passenger platform on it. I've just noticed this is a terminus. Why did I do that as a terminus? Because I didn't know that it was going to make me do this. Oh, that's so annoying. We might have to destroy this train station. Got one line coming in. That's the Konya, a regularly packed strain. So let's, let's let this guy get out of here and we'll make this um, a through station rather than a terminal. I, I didn't know we were going to have to do that, so... I couldn't really plan ahead on that one. But if we pause it and then we destroy that station completely... Maybe that chunk of road as well. And then put back a very small of road and then go for a cargo station we'll just go with one for now one bit of track um, sorry no passenger station what are you talking about passenger station with two lots of track we'll have to angle it slightly then we can bring that back into here. It is going to slow it down, but they've slowed down by then anyway, so it doesn't really restrict the speed. Okay, it's recognized that, so we'll unpause it. Okay, so we're going to need to sort of go down this valley, I guess, and then punch through there and there and probably there as well into Adana. Uh, in, in terms of getting into Adana, I think we can probably come in along that and then drop into here. We reconfigure this and just add some more track on this. And then a passenger platform. And then we're going to have to destroy that bit of road, I think. So that we can bring that out of here. Oh, well, one thing we're going to need is a passenger terminus, aren't we? So a passenger building. So we can build somewhere along here. So that we can actually accept passengers. I've got a feeling the, the passenger car is going to make us take a, the chief all the way down there somewhere. Put this back on a sec and try and get this train lined. This is going to be so expensive. Oh my god. Right, let's get the passenger line.
Holy moly. If it isn't like that, it's two and a half mil. Time to quickly pump out a few more tankfuls of oil and then get out of here. Uh, transport 40 crude via the line to Konya. Oh, you scumbag game. To Konya? Why? Why game? Why would you give us a train with four tanks on the back and on obvious shipping route here and then say, take the oil down to Konya? That's scumbaggery that is. Delight the Sultan with an exclusive Pullman car so that he continues to view your project favorably. Naturally, the car's interior requires a special decor <laughs> tailored precisely to his majesty's needs. The Sultan prefers to rest on a purple divan couch. They say chances are good to find one in Aleppo. Oh my God, buy a Pullman car and bring it to the station in Aleppo. This guy. I know what it's going to ask us to do. It's going to ask us to take him from like Aleppo right down to Konya. And that track. Oh my God. The chances of being able to get that out of here. We could turn and. Yeah, as long as we get him though, we don't need to actually do it quickly, do we? This is not going to be easy though. Look at this. Now we have a passenger thing here, but I can't simply add another track. I'll have to pause it. I'll have to get rid of that passenger spot. Add a second track. And then add a passenger platform. And then put the building back. Because if we're going to get this into here, almost certainly going to have to go somewhere. Okay. Now, we don't know where it wants it to go just yet. We need to get the train in there first. So what we'll do is we'll just have this temporary building here and we'll send it directly in that way my vehicle now here's the thing he, he definitely wants to have a special pullman thingy but he didn't specify that he wants to go particularly quickly so i'm thinking given that cash is a bit tight because this thing is 1.1 million just for the car i'm thinking we can probably get away with a cheaper train so we've got a lot of building left to do these are 1.6 i reckon he can probably do with that for now like that and we shall send it to actually we haven't defined a line for this yet Bring a car to Aleppo. How do we tell it to go to a particular place? Without having a line established, I wonder. What if we do... What if we do new line and go from... That station to that station but it won't be able to find a route but then we just assign it to that line anyway and then this is a bit hacky i'm trying to i'm trying to hack our way into this we do that does that work to path to stop hmm 
We might have to just bite the bullet and link this thing up. If we do this and then cut across. Too slow. The problem is this section of track gets very hilly and it doesn't want to cut across it. Oh, this feels so very, very hacky. I don't like it. Let's get rid of that. Joy. Get rid of this. And we'll bring the line in. Is that actually join again? signals in okay so hopefully that one can now exist can't it go from there to here What are you going down that platform for? We wanted to go from this platform. But for some reason it keeps adjusting it back to that platform. This line just not set up correctly. It should be able to get into this passenger platform here, shouldn't it? Let's do it the other way. Let's go with, um, let's add it from here first. Down to platform two. Station appears consecutively twice. Okay, this is odd. Let me try and figure this out. Okay, I found the culprit. This is the culprit right here. This signal is on the wrong side of the track. It should be here. It's a very easy thing to do in this game, and it's one of the biggest bugbears I have about the game, is it doesn't help you to lay out track properly. And the reason I spotted it was because I tried to waypoint the system. I put some waypoints in, and then I said to the, to the game, go from this station to this waypoint here, which it managed to do. And then I said, from that waypoint, go to here. And it said I couldn't do it. Now it can do it because and it couldn't do it, so I knew the problem existed between this waypoint and that station. And that's when I found the signal. Yeah, but in terms of these things, it doesn't make it easy for you. It doesn't show you which way. It should have an arrow here that shows you which way this is pointing. Because when you zoom out like that, you can't tell if they're on the right side of the track or not. And then the icons disappear when you get into here. And it's so hard to spot which side of the track they're on. But having to individually put down these signals is very annoying. What I want from the game is I can just say, give me a signal every 160 meters and then just drag it along that track and it just does it. 
I digress. Let's get rid of these waypoints. So now we should be able to go like that, which means we can now link in this thing. So we can just go like that for now. I'm not going to do anything fancy. And then we can now finally assign that onto that line. And we'll call that Aleppo and, uh, Trains. Now, they want us to bring it into Aleppo. Um, I don't know if it's going to stop there when it gets there. I don't know what it's going to do, but we'll just let it do its thing for now. Meanwhile, we actually need some signals to control access across the bar so we don't have any uh, accidents. I would not normally ever do this in any of my playthroughs, um, but this game has led me down a path here. A little bit uh, so I'm just trying to recover from it but it's fine right so we also need to get um, a delicate porcelain tea set is essential the car is supposed to be furnished with this in Adana bring the carriage to Adana well it's already on its way to Adana isn't it so ha ha game uh, finding the tea set was this bring the car to Adana oh, we need to get oil down there don't we that was one of the, the main tasks transport 40 crude from here to Konya. Now, oil is already being brought in on this line. What we don't have is we don't have a way of getting the oil down there. What we can do, pause it a second, is reconfigure this track and add another platform to it, which is cargo. Pause that. Uh, and what we can then do is basically. There's something missing without an exceptional carpet. Oh, it wants to go to Konya. I am so surprised. Carpets are knotted in Konya. I'm so very surprised. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Um, so, what we can have is we can have a, a second track here. And we can effectively have a double slip switch. Build one. Like that. With one of them going into the cargo, which is this one, and one of them going into the passenger. And I'm just going to put these signals in and build the track all the way down there, and we'll get it all the way down to Konya, and then we'll set up the oil run and get that finished. Okay, so first of all, made a slight error on that double slip switch. I shouldn't have had signals here because I need the trains to be able to traverse in either direction on this section of track, so I can't put any signal. Well, I can put two-way signals, kind of pointless though. So I've just removed the signals here and we've got the single uh, one-way ones there. So the idea is uh, a train can come out the cargo side here and it can just enter that, that side there. And when it comes back, it can cross over and go in that way. Uh, same thing with the passenger line, which of course has got the special train on it, which is currently on its way back out. So what I've done is con continued this. I've double tracked it and put uh, signals in along the way, brought it all the way in through. This is a, a Regley. So at a Regley, it just drives straight through. We're not going to be stopping here. There's no reason to stop here. So I've just got the track coming through there, and then it joins onto the existing line that we built. Uh, down to Konya. So the existing Konya line is here. Once it gets down to Konya, um, we've already got a cargo and passenger platform set up. So the train that comes in, the special train that comes in, will be able to route into the passenger side, and the other one will be able to route into the same, the same platform. Sorry, the same track, which is this one. But one side is passenger, one side is cargo. So. I'm thinking we can use the same line here, the same bit of track for both the special guy and the 40 oil that we need to bring in. But since the this is a bonus task to bring in the magnificent thingy, we need to do that first. So what I've done is I've set up a Adana Konya oil line, which comes into here. 
Um, but we're not going to stick a train on it just yet because I want to make sure we finish off the special guy, wherever he is. Uh, let's find him. He should be on this line somewhere. Where are you, bro? Is that him? No. I think he's on this bit of track. There he is. He's there. He's there. Right. So we'll click on him and we'll click on a depot and we'll manage that so now instead of going to the to adana we'll get rid of adana and we shall add konya passenger as a destination and he should now it says Car konya cargo station but that's not actually correct it's going to come into the platform side it doesn't matter it's both a plat um a passenger and a cargo so it'll come into here exactly like this passenger train's doing and it'll stop and that should in theory on a sec it's not it's not happy one second there's a problem on the line where are you bro okay so he thinks uh vehicles report probably no path right so it thinks it can't get there so let's just have a look it's going to come through here um i think it's because let's see that would be a two-way section to here i probably need to change the colorless line so we can just easily see what's going on so yeah it can come through there no problem and then it can go on that side of the track go all the way through here you see the braided color looks to me like it's got a path i think maybe the train's just slightly confused and it should be able to go there um all right so let's do the let's try the trick of flipping the train see if that fixes it so flip it that way then that way yeah there you go Sometimes the game gets a little confused when you mess around with a line too much and the train goes, I don't know what I'm doing. Just just flip the train and it usually works fine. So that's that's sorted out. Now we need to get the oil in. Now the oil should be already coming from Aleppo in theory. Um, we could have taken an oil train directly from there and, and just taken it straight through. But I thought once we set up this, this oil line... I thought, you know, that train should start bringing back some oil because I don't think any oil is being put here because there's nothing to take it right now. But once we set up the rest of the line, it should work. So we haven't got a lot of money left. Um, all we need is a cheap train on this line here. So we'll dump it on, on there. We just need a cheap train out of here to actually start moving some oil from, from the station down the road here but i don't think i'm going to spawn her at that depot i think i'd rather spawn it on a depot here somewhere so quickly drop that in build some track and we only need to move 40 oil and i think that will be the end the end of this mission i believe so once that train gets there the bonus task should kick in in terms of the vehicle we'll just keep the cost down for now I mean that's more than enough uh then wagons we just want tank car we need to bring 40 oil so let's see that can carry nine two three four. so that with good capacity that should easily do it so we'll set that onto the adana on your oil and it should just be now a matter of kicking back and waiting for the magic to happen. That's going to take a little while to establish the oil connection because it's going to have to probably run the length of that line before the game realizes, ah, you know what, I can put oil here and it'll go through there. It has to do some certain kind of pathfinding. Uh, the one to keep your eye on is this, because once this gets into Konya, then it should. Let's just click on that to follow it. Once this gets into Konya, it should trigger the, the bonus mission, unless there's another bit to this. I sincerely hope not, but we'll see. We've already burned through all of our cash. In fact, our cash is going downhill. I didn't take any extra loan out, though, so... I have done it with the... Was it $75 million that it gave us? So, yeah, there is that. And I've come probably overbuilt it, to be fair. You could have done this in a much more crude fashion and just make do with like single track sections and things like that. I don't like doing that. I like trying to build a proper track setup, you know? Anyway, we'll see what he says when he gets in. There you go. 
it would almost be worthy of the German Emperor. That may be, but unfortunately, the Sultan doesn't have the slightest interest in traveling by train. He prefers a sedan chair. Okay. All right, so yeah, it looks like that's done. So, I don't think we need to keep this anymore. We can probably just sell that and get some money back. And now we just have to see if it's realized in the oil. Can, yes, there you go. It's realized. So the game, it does work better than TF1. It's now realized fairly quickly that there is an oil route through there. Uh, and it's going to drop oil off, which means these trains that come in here that are moving the silver around, which we put some oil tanks on the back of, this one, uh, they should start to now load up with oil and move it from here. And then that train will take you through. So, yeah. I shall let this thing run and come back when it's nearly finished. This guy here is about to collect a load of oil from there. 49 all at that platform now. And you can see it's already delivered 16, but it takes him so long to get there and back that he's already done a few runs and brought in a whole lot of oil. Uh, he's currently waiting till full. Uh, I decided to set it to wait till full, but we can just turn that off now. Let's get this guy going. And uh, yeah, that ho should hopefully complete the mission. Approaching Konya. Works pretty well. It's quite a fun little mission, this one. Quite a challenge. The engineering marvel has been completed. But you're so homesick it hurts. See to it that you hurry back to Germany. Okay, so we did all of the optional ones this time. And all the main mission is done. Let's just unpause that for a second. Um, yeah, that's the mission complete. So that's the end. <coughs> excuse me. That's the end of mission six in chapter one. So in the next video, we'll be starting chapter two. Uh, my guess is it's going to be taking us through maybe like the 20s uh, through to the 50s, something like that. So we should start to see some diesel coming in, I think. And then maybe chapter three is all about electric. Maybe that's how it's going to work. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And I hope you're enjoying Transport Fever 2 if you've got it. And if not, don't forget, if you want to buy it, there's a, a link and a discount code in the video description that's valid till the end of the year. Take care, guys. Happy transporting.